frontline world. Stories from a small planet. The first time I meet Cesar Farfan at a plaza in the Chilean capital, he tells me I can't bring my camera or my tape recorder. One of his followers picks me up, a 20-year-old kid with shaved red hair and freckled brown skin. He goes on and on about Cesar, sounds cultish, obsessed. But he's also jittery, doesn't want to sit down, says the park is full of degenerates. After half an hour, Cesar finally calls, and the kid pulls out a cell phone earpiece from his jacket, Secret Service style. Cesar and his girlfriend are waiting for us across the street, Cesar in a dark suit, carrying a briefcase. The stoplight's red, and as I watch them, with their dark hair and high Andean cheekbones, for a moment I'm disoriented, almost mistake them for a proud indigenous couple, until Cesar starts talking, that is. I don't believe in the Holocaust because there are proofs that it's false. The arreglos social arrangements that Hitler in Alemania were spectacular. For the next two hours, they tell me about the small neo-Nazi cell Cesar founded and runs. Cesar's just 25, but the other two are deferential, sitting quietly by while he does all the explaining. As we talk, the kid pulls out a little cloth sack all the cell members carry, filled with moist Chilean dirt, his homeland right there in his pocket. Cesar's super nationalistic too, can't stop complaining about the problems in Chilean society, the crime, bad schools, immigration, and about all the people he hates. The drug addicts, narcotraficantes, delinquentes, the punk, for sucios, for, for eh, degenerados, the homosexuals, more than the travestis, because they prostitute in the street, vestidos como mujer. I'd ended up in that plaza to figure out what had provoked more than a thousand Chileans mostly brown-skinned, working-class kids like Cesar and his friends, to buy into Hitler's ideology. The whole thing sounds ironic, in a country where 70% of the population has indigenous blood. But over the past few years, 30 cells have formed across Chile, and neo-Nazis have killed at least a dozen people 